three is on the Wilcoxon signed ranks test for matched pairs. And the Wilcoxon signed ranks test is a non parametric test that uses ranks for these applications. Testing a claim that a population of matched pairs has the property that the matched pairs have differences with the median equal to zero. And testing a claim that a single population of individual values, we create matched pairs by pairing each sample value with the claimed median. This better reflects the true nature of the data by taking the magnitudes of the differences into account. And the Wilcoxon signed rings test utilizes the notation of that t be the smaller of the following two sums, the sum of the positive ranks of the non-zero differences d, or the absolute value of the sum of the negative ranks of the non-zero differences d. And the requirements of the Wilcox and Sun ranks test, we have two of them. The data, are, uh, the data are a simple random sample, and the population of differences has a distribution that's approximately symmetric. Not normal, but symmetric. Meaning that the left half of its histogram is roughly a mirror image of its right half. For a sample of matched pairs, we obtain the differences by subtracting the second value from the first value in each pair. For a sample of individual values, we obtain differences by subtracting the value of the claimed median from each sample value. If the sample size is less than or equal to 30, the test statistic is t, the critical value is in table A8, and this is a capital T, not a lowercase t. Um, if n is greater than 30, the test statistic is z, and we would then calculate that by doing t minus n times n plus 1 divided by 4 divided by the square root of n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 24. And that critical value is in table A2. The p-value could be obtained by SAS or using the z-test statistic and table A2. And based upon that, the actual procedure itself is we first find each pair of data, find the difference d by subtracting the second value from the first value, discarding any pairs that have a difference of zero, ignore the signs of the, of the differences, and sort the differences from lowest to highest, and replace the differences by the corresponding rank value. If any differences have the same numerical value, assign them the mean of the ranks involved in the tie. Attach to each rank the sign of the difference from which it came, which is the sign we previously ignored in the previous step. Find the sum of the ranks that are positive, and find the absolute value of the sum of the negative ranks. Let t be the smaller of the two sums found in step 4. Let n be the number of, si uh, number of pairs of data for which the difference d is not 0. Determine the test statistic and critical value based on the sample size and reject the null hypothesis if the sample data lead to a test statistic that is in the critical region. The test, st the, test st yeah. the test statistic is less than or equal to the critical values. Otherwise, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So for example, the first two rows of the data include some of the weights from data set 10 freshman 15. Those weights were measured from college students in September and April of their freshman year. Using a, the sample data to test the claim that there is no difference between the September weights and the April weights, we want to use the Wilcox and Sun ranks test with a 5% level of significance. We have the data down over here, and this is the accompanying histogram of that n those nine data values. So, first and foremost, this is not a simple random sample. This is volunteer data volunteered. And the second thing we wanted was that the uh, histogram was symmetric. This is not symmetric, unfortunately. But this is also nine data points. So because of that, if we use the actual full data set, 
it's bound to be closer than the, to be symmetric than this. But we're still going to run the um, Wilcox and Sandwings test within this regard. The uh, no hypothesis is that the no hypothesis is that there is no difference. There is no difference. Likewise, the alternative is that there is a difference. There is a difference. And in order to do this calculation, I already have this data set instead of SAS. So I have all the September and April weights. And the code that we're going to use for this is uh, data diff set work dot freshman, which is why I call the data set. And then diff is equal to September minus April. We want to do proc univariate data is equal to diff and then run. Doing so gives us a whole bunch of information. But the sampling test that we want for the difference between those two between those two months. Uh, this gives us a value of negative 17.5 and a probability of 0 0.0430. So, in SAS, this gives us a value of negative 17.5 and a p-value of 0 0.043. Um, if we did this out by hand, we would obtain a value of t of 5, a sample size of 9, and a critical value of 6. So, because, again, from SAS, we have a p-value less than 0.05, and we have a t test, test statistic here, in this case, that is going to be less than the critical value, so it's in that critical region. We can then write up our conclusion, and let me just type that very quickly on here. at the 5% level of significance we have sufficient evidence to support the claim that the median body temperature Median body temperature is less than 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, for my second example here, the data set to body temperatures, excuse me, the, uh, I need to slightly adjust this. The, uh, conclusion that we got. The conclusion that we got for this was that we had the critical value of 6, T value here of 5, the P value being small. This is that um, the 5% level of significance, we have sufficient evidence to support the claim that the median, that there is a difference. There's a difference between the April, April and September weights. For my second example, the data set to body data data set includes measured body temperatures of adults, use the 106 temperatures listed for the 12 a.m. and day 2 with the Wilcox and Sun Ranks test, 
The Tesla claimed that the median is less than 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit at the 5% level of significance. Uh, these are a simple random sample. And secondly, this is indeed symmetric. The null hypothesis is that the medians, the median of the differences, is equal to zero. Alternative is that they are not equal to zero. The median of the differences is not equal to zero. Excuse me. Um, instead of SAS, this uses this body temperature data set. The uh, code that we're going to use for this is data temperature set underscore temp zero point uh, period underscore zero two underscore body underscore temperatures. Uh, temperature is equal to day two underscore 12 a.m. And then proc univariate data is equal to temperature. Mu zero is equal to 98.6 and then run. Uh, doing so gives us right here the sound rank test of negative one four two zero and a p-value of less than less than 0 0.0001. Um, if we did this by hand, we would obtain a T value of 661, which would correspond to a Z value of negative 5.67. So because of this, we can write this particular conclusion here as at the 5% level of significance we have sufficient evidence to support the claim that the median body temperature is less than 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.